Hi, welcome to another of my strings and things. Uh, today I'm going to uh, show you a third video uh, on my quick change guitar project that I've been working on for about 18 months now. Um, the links to uh, the first um, video on this are below. Uh, how the guitar was made, why I made it, what I was interested to do in making it, um, and then uh, the, man the making of the individual cassettes uh, that slot into this uh, hole here uh, is another YouTube video. And at the end of that YouTube video is a comparison of several uh, kind of quick change guitars that are commercially uh, on the market or are in development at the moment. So uh, today what I'm going to show you is some more um, pickups that I've made. In fact, I've made six now, and I'm going to show you these different pickups that I've made. Uh, and then I'll play some tones in the expectation that these uh, different pickups, which are obviously different types of pickups, will actually sound uh, quite different to each other, which is the whole idea really of having the ability to change one pickup quickly for another. Uh, when you're gigging or playing or recording. So first of all, just the six pickups that I've made. Uh, there's a picture of the group uh, just shown you now of the all six pickups. Um, so just let you have a look at that pickup uh, group at the moment. And then if individually here they all are. So the first pickup um, that I'm going to play is an Artec Hop Bridge pickup for a Telecaster. Um, uh, it's uh, uh, the resistance of it is about six uh, kilo ohms. The second pickup is obviously a similar Telecaster type pickup. This is a Wilkinson low gauss pickup. Um, obviously, uh, low magnetic field in it. So really, this should sound quite a bit different to the hot uh, Artec pickup that I just showed you. So that's number two. Um, oh, and incidentally, the um, uh, resistance on that pickup, for what the resistance is worth, is about the same as the first pickup. It's 6.2 kilo ohms. Third pickup I've made is um, a, uh, a P90 soap bar pickup. Obviously, this has got uh, a, a wider magnetic windings on it. It's a flatter type of pickup. Um, and this has got a, a resistance of 6.8 uh, kilo ohms. It's um, it's a no brand pickup, um, so it's it's not a a, a famous name pickup, uh, but nonetheless uh, it should uh, provide quite a different kind of sound to the two Telecaster bridge pickups. This incidentally is a bridge pickup. The third, uh, sorry, the fourth pickup is is actually the first pickup that I made for this guitar. This is a, uh, a chrome. Uh, no brand humbucker pickup. Uh, this has got a, um, a resistance of 12.74 kilo ohms, so it's got a high resistance. Again, very different type of uh, pickup to the um, first three that I showed you, and really should sound quite a bit different. Maybe a little bit more muted, a little bit more mellow. Well, we'll see. The fifth pickup is a uh, a dual hot rail humbucker pickup. This is actually the second pickup that I made. Um, uh, and it also has the capability uh, for coil splitting. So it'll be interesting to see what difference splitting the coil makes, both in terms of the sound, uh, it should be a lot brighter, and of course the output of the pickup. So that's the fifth one. And the sixth one is the last one that I've made. And this is uh, an Artec, um, Artec Filtertronic uh, Alnico 5 uh, Humbuck. I suspect all the other pickups uh, are not going to be Alnico. Uh, so this is an Alnico 5 pickup. It's got a um, resistance of uh, 6 uh, kilo ohms, uh, uh, and it can be split. Uh, and the resistance when it's when the coils are split is three point or three point three kilo ohms. Uh, I should have told you that the uh, this dual rail uh, has a nine point one six kilo ohms uh, resistance, 
uh, when it's not split, but when it's split, it's about half that, 4.62 kilo ohms. So that's six really quite different types of pickups. And of course, they really ought to sound quite, quite a bit different. Um, that's almost the full range of pickups you, you, can, um, you can get. Uh, none of them is, are very expensive pickups, but as actually other videos, um, other YouTube videos I've been watching have shown, uh, very often uh, the cheap pickups are uh, easily comparable to the more expensive kind of pickups that get fitted in the commercial uh, guitars. Um, so you can hunt around for those YouTubes. So let's get going and let's have a listen to these in order. First of all, the Artec, um, the Artec uh, hot, so-called hot pickup. And of course, if you haven't seen this before, this is just how easily these just slot into the guitar, just pop in there. And that's actually then popped on. Just make sure the volume's up. And so this is going, the recording is going directly through an interface uh, into uh, the uh, workstation that I'm working on. So there's no amplifier involved here and absolutely no effects. So this is about as clean as you should be able to get a sound uh, out of these pickups. So I'm just going to play a few simple chords straight, a little bit of tiny little bit of strumming, try to uh, play exactly the same place uh, on, on the guitar every time, uh, and uh, try to produce the same kind of volume anyway. Okay, so that's pickup uh, number one. That's the Arctic Hot Bridge pickup. We'll just exchange it for the Wilkinson Logos pickup. Pickup number two now, and we'll see how this sounds. So that's the Wilkinson Low Gauss uh, pickup. Just uh, flip that one out now, and um, now the P90 soap bar. So really, this should sound quite a bit, quite a bit, quite a bit different. Just pop that in. Oops, got my cut, got my thing stuck here. Okay, so let's have a listen to this. Okay, next, uh, next pickup is the first of the 
humbucker pickups. Uh, so this is the uh, no-name, no-brand uh, chrome pickup, the first one I made for this uh, guitar. I'll just pop, pop that in. I'll have a listen to this one. So that's the first of the uh, humbucker pickups. Um, let's just slip that out. Uh, change it now for the dual hot rail uh, pickup, uh, which which I can split the coil on here. So let's have a listen to this. So let's split the coil just by raising the, the volume knob here and have a listen to this. Should sound quite a bit different, I hope. Okay, and now the final, uh, the sixth uh, pickup is the Filtertronic pickup. It's the last pickup I've made uh, for it, an Artec Filtertronic uh, pickup. And uh, so that's in, let's plug it again, and um, let's have a listen to this one.
Okay, so that's the full range of uh, all six pickups compared. Um, so I'll just take a little break here, and then I'll try and put all the sounds together, and we just kind of listen to them uh, in uh, in sequence, and just have a, a, a sort of a check on how different they sound. Um, so that's coming up uh, just uh, in in a mo. Okay, let's have a listen to all six pickups, uh, one after another, just playing a simple uh, E chord uh, a couple of times over. Uh, let's uh, have a listen to see how, di how they differ one from another in terms of tone and also volume. So first up is the Artec Hot uh, Telecaster Bridge pickup. Okay, typical sort of jangly Telecaster sound. Now the Wilkinson Low Gauss Nashville uh, bridge pickup. Okay, I think I hear kind of more middle in that uh, pickup. Next, the um, P90 Soap Bar pickup. Oh, there's greater output there. I think it's darker, has a lower bass end in that. Uh, next now, the Chrome Humbucker. Yeah, I'd say that's darker, uh, a, a more bassy kind of sound to it. Uh, next is the um, uh, Split um, Coil Humbucker. Okay, much more volume. Now let's split the coil and listen to one of the coil. Okay, I think I hear a lot less bass there. Much more single coil type of sound, as you'd expect. And finally, the Artec Filtertronic. Yeah, splitting the coil, much more treble, and probably the lowest uh, output of all six pickups on the single coil of the Filtertronic. So, what do you think? Uh, leave uh, leave some comments down, down below. I can hear differences in tone, as you'd expect, and also difference in the output uh, volume that these produce, which, of course, can be really good depending on, obviously, what style you're you want to play with the guitar. Um, but overall, really, um, the differences are not that great, especially when you can adjust the, uh, the sort of tone and the volume, obviously, with the, um, uh, on your guitar with the various uh, couple of knobs you've got there. So really, um, let me know. Leave some comments uh, below. Again, just to remind you, uh, links to the YouTubes on this uh, uh, Quick Change Pickup Guitar project and also a second uh, YouTube video uh, on uh, the making of uh, one of these uh, uh, pickup cassettes. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Thanks for uh, your attention and um, all the best to you. Bye for now. <laughs>